So the state of things in today's world makes a ton of sense uh, because a biological understanding of testosterone itself is really less than 100 years old and almost all the focus on it has been concentrated on commercially profitable drug development and these are all funded by big pharmaceutical companies. So it makes a lot of sense that the, both the uh, Western medical community and the consumers themselves believe that the only truly effective way to overcome low testosterone is to replace it with these testosterone therapy drugs. However, these hormone replacement therapies are logically not true treatments in the sense that they actually solve the issue itself, rather they're putting a band-aid on the real issues. More modern science has now confirmed this. There's some very real, very tangible, and truly treatable ways to overcome low testosterone, not by taking a replacement drug and therefore shutting down your body's own production, but actually by addressing the real reasons why the male body starts to actually produce less testosterone in the first place. And this is where things get super interesting. As the years roll on and more research is conducted, testosterone replacement therapy has begun to be medically implicated as a causal factor for increased incidence of prostate cancer, male breast cancer, BPH, which is also known as benign prostatic hyperplasia, and development of sleep apnea and an increased risk of developing serious cardiovascular disease. TRT has now been shown to increase prostate size by 12%. And scientists have known since 1982 that exogenous testosterone therapy makes prostate cancer worse. However, despite all these risks, the prescription rate of TRT, even in patients with prostate problems or risk factors, has continued to increase population-wide. Normal natural production of testosterone in men has been proven to not cause prostate cancer, but administration of TRT has been shown time and again to speed the development of prostate cancer. It is also currently believed that administration of TRT can potentially lead to development of male breast cancer due to the increase in unregulated aromatization of testosterone into estrogen, which can fuel tumor growth in men. Now this side effect is easily noticed with the development of TRT-induced gynecomastia, which should serve as an early warning sign of potentially worsening issues. It's also well known that exogenous testosterone administration from TRT shuts down the body's own ability to produce testosterone by stopping the pulsatile release of GnRH from the hypothalamus and therefore blunting the release of important signaling hormones from the pituitary, LH and FSH, to the testes. The cessation of FSH or follicle stimulating hormone shuts down spermatogenesis or sperm production leading to impotence. This is especially important to be aware of for younger men who desire to reproduce and have healthy children and families one day. Using TRT can make you impotent. There are also inherent risks of exposure to TRT from the man to other people, such as women, children, and even pets. When used as a gel, it's extremely easy to transfer to others. It can cause excess hair growth on women's faces and arms, deepen their voices, interrupt menstruation, and make them anxious and irritable. In children, exposure to testosterone gels and creams can cause premature puberty and aggression. And in pets, it can cause aggressive behavior and enlargement of the genitalia. I think it's about time that we accept the fact that the side effects and inherent risks with using something like TRT are just not worth it. Especially when you realize that there is another way. There are very real things that you can do to naturally produce more testosterone. And it becomes a very simple, predictable process to do so once you understand the fundamentals of why your body is producing less testosterone now than it used to. Your low T is not caused by time. It's not gonna be solved by taking dangerous shortcuts. It's not something that's outside of your control. In fact, it's super easy to control.